This is my get ready with me birthday edition. This is what I wore for my birthday minus the day three hair we have going on here. But if you're curious, then just keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Janie and I'm going to be doing a bunny chat today. So it's a get ready with me, but for the first time ever, I'm actually including doing face makeup. I've never done it before because I don't really wear face makeup, but now that I actually have products, we can try it out. So I'm going to start off with some face primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pore. I'm going to apply that all over. I forgot to put my hair out of my face, so after this I'm going to do it. But it's just like a skin tone color, and I'm going to apply it. So I just had my 26th birthday, which I can't believe I'm 26, out here looking like I'm 16 still. So now that my hair is out of my face, I'm going to put some foundation on. This is from Bare Minerals, and it is in the color Cashew. It's their Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. You can really just apply this with your hands. I think I did it for my birthday, but I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend this in. And I'm going to apply just a little bit all over my face. <laughs> this color might be a little bit lighter. Let me apply some down my neck, too, actually. It might be a little bit lighter because I bought this before summer, and I've been in the sun all day, five days a week, so... Might be an issue. I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend that all in. And there's an airplane flying by. Sorry. So I had my birthday. It was great. We kept it low key. We just went out to the city. Um, we went to Barnes and Noble. We went to the Sea Glass Carousel, which was really what I've been wanting to do for the past year. There's this carousel in Battery Park that was. I guess dedicated to the fact that the aquarium used to be there before it moved to Brooklyn. So it's a really pretty like light up carousel. It's shaped like fish. They each have their own like individual like rotation pattern because there's no center pole. So with the center pole in a carousel, it goes in a circle, but there's no center pole. So each fish has its own like track and the outer fish go up and down. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. I had a really good time. I went with my fiance and it was great we just had a lot of fun and then we came home ate out ate some good food and that was it i had a cake my cake was super duper cute i did not expect it i will post a picture as well it is like this big i don't know is that a cat is that a bear what kind of animal is that i have no idea but it was absolutely adorable. I'm applying concealer. I don't have the right color match again because my face is much darker than what it used to be. So I'm using two different ones. I'm using one from NARS. This is the Creamy Concealer in Custard. And then I'm using a Maybelline concealer. This is the Fit Me Concealer and it's in the color Sand. I ended up deep panning one of my blushes. So I'm gonna skip the blush. I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlighter. This is from ColourPop. This is from their My Little Pony collection way back when. But um, what was I saying? It was great. It was a good time. I'm happy. And this is my last day of my weekend before I go back to work tomorrow. And I'm just not looking forward to it. Is that crazy? Is that mean? That's the trope. So now we're going to do eye makeup. This is basically the recreation of my birthday makeup. So I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using the liquid eye glitter from Kylie Cosmetics. Don't support this brand anymore. I think I mentioned it in my last Get Ready With Me. Wait, did I use this on my last Get Ready With Me? Because I did, and there's no point in me. Okay, I remember now. So I did use this in my last video, but I didn't apply the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows like I said I was going to, so I ended up looking pretty different. So this is my birthday makeup look. I'm going to use this again, but this time I'll show you what I mean when it comes to the glitters that I'm going to put on top of this. Even though this is already glittery, I don't really need that much glitter. But this alone I don't like. I think it's a really bad formula, so we're going to apply something over it. I'm going to apply a dark brown into my crease just to add some depth and dimension for when we put the glitter on. And I might retouch this after the glitter too because it's so hard to put on. You're like supposed to pat it a little more a little more zoomed in. So I'm going to apply the glitter. It it just it looks pretty, but it's just hard to like blend into the actual eyelid space, especially cuz I don't have that much space to begin with. All right, and I'm just gonna blend it and tap it in. I find tapping it in just helps a lot more than blending it entirely. And it's definitely a color you have to build up. Maybe if I did a white base, it would be easier for it to pop up, but it's more work than I'm willing to do right now. Just gonna apply a little more. Steepen it up. Bum, bum, bum. So I got my nails done. You can probably see it there. First and last time, I think, that I'm getting my nails done. I kind of made up my mind <laughs> about them. Like, I really love them at first, but I just don't think fake nails are for me. 
it doesn't really fit my lifestyle, I guess. And they're very expensive. And I feel like it can become an expensive, um, not hobby, uh, like personal care charge. Wait, what am I trying, you know what I'm trying to say. I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. It's been a long morning. It's a long morning. It's only like 60 degrees out, which is perfect weather, but inside my house, it's really hot. But I don't want to turn on the AC, especially because I can't film with the AC on. So. so I put them on. I'm just waiting for it to get a little tackier. And then I'm going to go over it with two different ColourPop eyeshadows that I absolutely love. So the first one is in Frog, which is my favorite. This is actually my backup one. My first one that I have that I've still not done yet with is at my fiance's house. For this, the first one is in Set to Stun, and the second one is in Bubbly. I love the Super Shock Shadow formula for ultra glitters, glitters, and metallics, but anything other than that, I'm not really much of a fan of. Post, I'm gonna pop this on the lid. It's super smooth too, like not all of them have the same consistency, but some of them are so smooth and amazing, it just glides on. And I'm going to apply, I'm gonna apply Bubbly, right in the center. I'm not going to go any further just to highlight the area. Right there. Pop, pop, pop. And then same thing here. It's kind of hard for me to do because I don't have my mirror here. I do, but it's hard to position it while I film. So I'm just doing it using the viewfinder. <laughs> but yes, we are done with the eyeshadow. It's very pink, but it'll come together once I do the eyeliner and the mascara. For eyeliner, as always, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Eyeliner. I'm trying to adjust my mirror so that I don't have to look at the viewfinder that much. But I'm just going to do a quick thin line. Technically, this isn't a full face of makeup because I didn't do like the whole contour, highlight. Well, I did highlight, but you know what I mean? Blush, setting powder setting spray type of thing but I guess that's pretty subjective like what someone would consider full face makeup versus someone else normally I do a mascara primer but lately I haven't been liking how it's looking so I'm just taking a quick break for them I have one from L'Oreal the voluminous primer and then I also have one from what is it from Essence and I don't know like I found that my lashes weren't looking that good and I wasn't sure if it was a combination of the primer with the mascara or just the primer so I'm taking just a little tiny break from using primers on my lashes. And I'm using right now the Essence Lash Princess, the red one. I have the, what is it called? The green one as well, the uh, false lash effect. There's so many of these now that I get confused. But I'm using this one and I might follow up with the Too Faced mascara. I like to layer my mascaras all the time. So this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's a deluxe sample. I like it, probably not enough for me to ever purchase the full size, especially if it's not on sale. I hate spending $20 on a mascara when I could just spend five. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same process with the other eye and then I'll be right back. Now for the lip portion, this is the Ultra Glossy Lip from ColourPop. This is in the color Granita. This is from their watermelon collection earlier this summer. Or was that spring? I don't know. But it's just a clear, glittery, amazing lip gloss. And can you hear my neighbors? Because they are so damn loud upstairs. All that noise is upstairs. So not only do I have to deal with the air forts and the airplanes and the ambulances, I also have to deal with really really obnoxious neighbors so okay so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed if you made it to the end thank you so much i really really appreciate it and i will see you guys next time with another video